and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Miss Brianne, and welcome back to Book Talk Wednesdays with Miss Brianne. And this is the series where I provide brief book discussions on all the graphic novels and easy readers that we here have to offer here at the West Hampton Free Library in hopes that we encourage you to visit us at the library to check out these amazing books for yourself. Now, I know this week I'd be doing easy readers. However, this is going to be a very special book talk. We are going to hold off on the easy readers for a couple weeks just because I want to talk about this very interesting picture book that I came across. Now, sadly, we don't have a physical copy of this here at the library. I know we do have it in ebook format, and we are going to try and look to get a physical order a physical copy here in the library in the future. But I just had to share this with you because I found this to be a very interesting and very amusing picture book. And it is called P is for Pterodactyl, the worst alphabet book ever. All the letters that misbehave and make words nearly impossible to pronounce. This is not your average ABC book. No. This is more this is, book is more designed to make you laugh than it is to teach you the alphabet. But I just had, it was a great book. I had to share this with you. Now the author, the authors of the books are Raj Haldar and Chris Carpenter. The illustrator is Maria Tina Bedia. And the publisher is Sourcebooks Jabberwocky, which is an imprint of Sourcebooks Inc. Now, like I said, this, this book goes through the ABCs just like any other ABC book. However, it's not going to give you the words for the ABCs that you usually follow along with learning your letter sounds. They're going to give you the craziest, the most hardest to pronounce, and the most difficult words to, that you would ever imagine. Like for the first, first one. A is for aisle. Really? A is for aisle? It actually looks like most of these words that begin with the letters are in the beginning are silent. So the A in A is for aisle is silent. The B, the B is for delium is silent. Let's see. N is for not. There's a K in front of it. M is for mnemonic. Think about that one, boys and girls. But as I was reading through this, I got a great laugh with this book. When, when, when it comes to describing the words, the words themselves, I couldn't stop laughing. My co-workers couldn't stop laughing at this book. And the illustrations are amazing. They're not too detailed, but they're pretty colorful and they're very eye-catching. And you even get bonus features with this book, such as a glossary of these difficult words and how to pronounce them. And they tell you what each one of these difficult words means. Isn't that great? But even though you don't really learn it, well, you can learn some new words. You won't learn your letter sounds, but you'll learn some new words, which I find is great. And it was very funny. Illustrations were great. Based on the comedic value alone, I give this book five out of five stars. I do not recommend this to young children just learning their letter sounds. I recommend this book for older children, maybe the third or fourth grade level, who are very well apt in their letter sounds and are good readers, and who just want a book that may for that allows them to laugh a little, or maybe even to teach them more difficult words. This is Miss Brianne. Thank you so much for joining me today. 
next week we're going to go back to our traditional format of graphic novels and easy readers. Take care now.